good getting internet. It is super bright outside, so I've tried to mitigate the light as much as possible. But, well, um, the camera's going to be a bit dimmer because it's trying to react to the light behind me. Um, I even thought about trying to put up a little cover for the light. So it does help a little bit by covering up part of the camera that it's not actually visible on the screen. But, and, yeah, no. It didn't. I don't have a great way of actually keeping it there without taping something to my camera, and no. Um, as usual, shirt check. I am wearing a chaotic neutral shirt. I aim to misbehave. Shoot first, ask questions later. Chaotic neutral is, in fact, one of my favorite alignments to play in a role-playing game. However, only if everybody's okay with it, because chaotic neutral quickly turns out to be chaotic asshole, and that's not one of my favorite alignments to play got my liter of water i've got my microphone that now hopefully has the auto problem fixed because i believe i've actually found the culprit we are in varn i have reloaded the save nothing has happened since the last save let's go so as usual let's go ahead and i was going to do a quest check oh wait we have one quest um why is everybody frightened like that. What? What? The hat? That's a glitch I've never seen before. I just wanted to wait a little bit like this, just so I get the thumbnail of it, because that's glorious. In fact, I'm going to take a screenshot. Okay. That. I'm falling. I, I seriously can't move. All right, let's recall the beacon right in front of me. I'm still infinitely falling. What in the world is going on? Okay, fine. Portal. Not that I can do much with the portal. I'll go and heal anyway, just because. I know I did that right before the end of the last episode, but... Right. She's along with the fastest of the party. Um... Lloyd's Beacon, Recall, Tomb of Varn. And now I can move. What in the world happened? I never had that happen before. Anyway, we're in Varn. Now we're going into the pyramid. These onesie twos here, I found a mace. Really, they drop maces. Okay. More enchant bait. So, I'm trying to do this generally the way you're supposed to do this. Just go through the back door, enter picture door. And yeah, I was about to say, I knew there were enemies in the corners, one of these corners. go. Okay. Yep, there's enemies in this corner as well. Uh, let's switch to fire blast. You broke something. My bow? Why are you obsessed with bow? Wrong character. Why are you so obsessed with bows, game? Why? What did my bows ever do to you other than kill you dead? Um, you're going to switch to shrap metal because you're immune to all elements. Single shrap metal. Good job, shrap metal. And these are nowhere near as big of a deal, so I'll just melee them. Oops. Okay. Varnies only ever drop money, if I remember correctly, so not very useful in that regard. Anyway, this is still a large area. I'm just walking along the outer perimeter. Trying to mind my own business. Everybody's going to be frightened again. That's okay. Um, so, one of the commenters in one of my videos mentioned that I made a mistake. And that Cursed actually gives you a flat 50% chance of everything failing. That includes attacks. I never knew that. Certainly possible. That's definitely the type of thing I would have never noticed. Okay, this loops around over here with a bunch of Arnies. 
I've nicknamed them Varnies because they remind me of Carnies. I guess. I don't know. That's what my brain came up with. My brain's a weird place. Hey, look. More ingredients. You notice I'm doing this real-time rather than turn-based? Because I'm not really afraid of what's going on in here. As long as it's not so many that I get stun-locked, I'm fine. And generally this ends up working a little bit faster. Okay. I mean, I did take a little bit of damage, but emphasis on the little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and... I know there's another enemy. Um, start removing fear. I already removed fear on the sorcerer, but apparently I. Oop, dang it, I hit somebody else, apparently. Oh. And one of them apparently decided to go run away. Also, there's nothing in this section at all, other than really weirdly shaped caverns. You're uninjured, so I don't know why you're running. Well, I mean, you should run, don't get me wrong. Everyone should run. Everyone. Yeah, I know, I'm being attacked from behind. Yep, I'm gonna lure them over here because there's a lot of them. Fireball. And more fireball. Are you immune to magic? Yes. Of course you are. We got everything left in the game is immune to magic. spell I think. So um, I want to talk a little bit more about Might Magic 7 because that will be the game I'll be playing next and I've never had this trigger on a bow of carnage before that was fun. Um, so Might Magic 7 as I've mentioned I'm going to be starting that sometime later. There's going to be a gap of time where I'm, I'm in green. Wow. There's a lot of ways of getting to green here. By the way you can see that there's a lot more enemies over here. I'm not entering that area yet. Um, what was I saying? So, I'm not hitting it yet. I will be playing Might Magic 7 sometime later. Probably... Uh, let's see, let me think. Um, you still have Shrap Metal? how awesome trap metal is. Um, Oops. sorry, I keep getting distracted by, you know, killing things. So, I'm planning on actually playing, starting Might Magic 7, either after Thanksgiving or after Giftmas. I'm not sure which, it depends on how long I'm interested in playing random games for a bit. Um, the intermediary period won't be daily videos or anything like that, I'm not going to try. Yeah, so if they won't be daily videos, I want to say up is where I want to go first. I really don't remember anymore. I used to have all of Varn memorized, which is a scary thought if I do say so myself. I don't want to go further down. I know that. Hi. So... I've given a little bit more thought to how I want to start my Magic 7. Oh, I'm tired. It's probably 3 in the morning, isn't it? Yep. Okay. <sighs> Such lazy characters. They just don't want to stay up all night for multiple days straight. 97. 
<sighs> okay. Um, so I want to make a party for the light path. So the light path, as I mentioned before, is more might focused. The dark path is more magic focused. So the dark path ends up making parties very similar to what I play for Might Magic 6, which is heavy on the magic, not so heavy on the fighting power. Light path parties, well, end up looking quite a bit more might-tastic, which would, in my mind, make a really nice comparison. Oh, I thought I did that already. Uh, make a really nice comparison with uh, this party. Nice contrast, there we go. That's the wording I wanted to use. So, I figured I can do that for this party. Uh, am I doing a duration five hours? Yeah, I'm fine. Whee! All the way down. Oh, I actually don't go all the way down that way. Go into the basement. There's nothing in the basement. I, okay. I really don't want to go further down, but I don't have a choice anymore. Further down's the bad place. So this is the time where I should probably get out the crystal skull. Um. The crystal skull thing will be explained in a while. Let's jump. Oops. Jumped a little too high. Hi. That was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. Um. So yeah. Might based party. And... There's three extra characters in My Magic 7. I'm going to go over the character differences when I actually start the video for My Magic 7. Are you up here yet? Okay. Jins are lightning. So a fireball should work fine. Fireball should work fine. Well, that way at least gets more of the Jins. And you know what else works fine? Deep breath. Deep breath always works. Yep, I've got another section over there. That's fine. You're going to get incinerated. I said you're going to get incinerated. Thank you. Awaken, because apparently you're just gonna sleep through everything. Let's go ahead and deep breath again. And you can just be meleeed. Okay. Or arrowed. Alright. I have a hunch that I have more genies flying underneath me. Yep, I was correct. How many? I know there's at least one more Jin because I can hear it. No, actually, I think they might all be Varnies. They are. Oh, okay. Must be hearing Jins from elsewhere. That's not exactly uncommon. And Kingdom for another draining item. Maybe I should have actually um, gone and played in the circus longer because unfortunately the circus has moved on. And I'm not going to get a chance to go back to the circus anytime soon. Uh, let me double check exactly when. Circus times, my magic six. Um, August, yeah. No time soon. That was a mistake on my part. I definitely should have played around in the circus longer so I can get more rewards and basically rolled for random really good treasure. I'm gonna have to rely on dragons and titans for my stiff. Oh, all right. Cloak of the Gods. That's might be better than that Cloak of Speed. Probably not. Uh, just checking. Okay, yeah. None of those have anything, so we need to go this way. So the way that I move around Varn is basically I loop around a bunch.
Deep breath. Yeah, Guardian of Arm doesn't get hit by deep breath, it looks like, which is kind of what I expected. All right. Yep. One of the few times where earth magic might actually be useful. Go. I love it when that triggers. Hi. There's enough of you where I'm going to trap metal. In fact, I'm going to set you to trap metal as well. We're in fire blast. Sweet. Gotta love trap metal. And looks like everybody else is purple. 200, 330. Yeah, you're the next one. Then you. See how much of a difference those draining uh, weapons make on healing? Look at the spell point, or hit point difference between these two characters. Mind you, Matt has more hit points overall than Regina. And current hit points are nearly half. Oops. That is all entirely due to spell draining or hit point draining effects. This room once more has nothing in it. Does it look somewhat familiar, like say a certain teleporting room. Okay, so down there is where I need to go. So I'm going to go over here. Basically, I'm looping around. I'm so surprised. Ah, okay. Right, I stole more. I stole. How close am I to? Okay, I will in fact be able to temp portal out of here and heal up. So that's good. I stole. I don't know why I call it I stole. I just pretty much always have. Suspicious end of a room. Yep. I love how the game color codes everything for me. Very convenient. I found a ring. I know I'm going to have to go through and actually analyze all of my rings at some point. Hi. It's really hard to tell where enemies are when you have things flying above you or below you. You can even hear them. It is dawn. Looks like the type of place I can jump up. Let's find out. Jump. Still getting attacked by something, I just don't know what. Jump. I can't quite make it. So this was the pit from before. Okay, that's good to know. Ah, where am I being attacked at? They're they must be hitting me from up even higher. How can they get a better angle than I can? That's not nice. Anyway, I'm thinking let's go ahead and drop a beacon here. Tam portal back to new Super Piggy. And let's walk. Because apparently flies expired. Um, speaking of fly being expired, might as well recast it. No real reason to recast, but I want to. Um, outside of haste, everything is still measured in days. Our path. 
power. Heal everybody. Lloyd's Beacon, Recall, Tomb of Arm. Okay. Okay, the minimap gets very confused from farm. If you can't tell from like holes in the minimap for no apparent reason. Okay, we did that path. There's nothing here. Oh, this is the only path that remains. And now we are in the wood paneled maze from hell. And the maze is actually not that bad. It's just the wood panelings from hell. And I bet YouTube is having a glorious time trying to encode that wood paneling. Also, I can never tell when things are next to me. I can totally attack you from up here, it's fine. I can hear them. They're stuck in that one room. This is actually where we need to go for reference. And I'm keeping track of the time. It's 21 minutes. We're going to have to fall down one of those at some point, but I don't want to do it yet. Also, we keep being jumpy in here, and the wood paneling is really obnoxious upscaled. Not that it's much better in the original. Okay, I know that there's Janies back here because I remember this section. There's a treasure chest over here too. And it's one of the few treasure chests that you have absolutely no prayer whatsoever. There's enough of you. I'm gonna trap now again. You have no prayer of, um, Telekinesis-ing that chest. It's going to hit you. you. There's nothing you can do about this. So, basically, suck it up, Buttercup, and fight her to trap disarm. This is what we needed. The Water Temple key. The Water Temple was in the back where we've been to before. And we have the first mate's code. When the landing commences, first mate, take the scroll to the central command chamber and speak the activator key K cops when it's prompted. All the senior officers must present their code scrolls and keys to open the same way. Note that key K cops. For those of you who haven't played Might Magic 6 thus far, have you figured it out yet? If not, that's fine. You can figure it out from later stuff. So. Hi, Sin. You want to say hi to the internet? Oh. Hugging kitties are awesome. I really need to kill the enemies above me because I keep thinking that they're going to attack me. So, this is actually where we need to go. Ah, cat. Ah, his claws are really sharp. But we can't get there because of this set of hieroglyphics. It's not actually the case, by the way. You can telekinesis over, if I remember correctly. Let's find out. Find telekinesis. No. Hmm. I know there's some way of getting in there. Or was it... Might have been just jumping. Uh, let's see. Yeah, basically the attacks are going through the wall occasionally. Yep, nope. They're smart enough where you can't telekinesis that. Let's see, there's no enemies here and I'm getting hit by something. I'm not getting hit by the thing that will hit you regardless of where you're at either. That's a dead end. Ugh. The enemies being all above me keep throwing me off so much. Uh, I haven't been to the left here. And now 
Ed's all afraid. It's okay, Ed. Nothing can hurt you here. I mean, technically they are hurting him, but... Leather armor and ring. Yes. Ah. I'm probably going to stop by New Serpical somewhat soon. Probably the next time I need to teleport back. But this is where we were at before. We've actually looped around there. That was the fall that we killed the enemies in shortly. This path is one we've been to before also, if I remember right. Yeah. Once more, just looping around. That's the dead end. <sighs> Let's speed things up a little bit. I'm just going to do this the faster way. This is the way we haven't gone. I mean, we actually have, but we looped around the other way for it. I don't think there's any enemies in this section. Nope. All right, back up to the pools. These are all cleansing pools, and that will be very useful later. All right, we've done that part of Arn. I'm going to actually go and kill those enemies that keep appearing. I think they'll activate when I walk over. We'll find out. Wrong way. Or is that the right way? No, um, one floor off, okay. Uh, it's walking, th walking this way. Then up the ramp. Do, 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 do. Then over. Did I just walk over that? Yes, I did. Okay, just curious. Where does this take me again? Oh, right, I remember now. That was to the um, room with the, what well, kind of looks like the bottom of an hourglass to me for some reason. Okay. This room is one I haven't gone through yet. And I'm going to right now. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna hit the water temple first. And when I go to the water temple, when I'm right outside of it, I'll town portal, get rid of some of my stuff, then come back. So I don't wanna lay, I don't wanna keep using, I could have just beaconed back over here. This is one of the few dungeons in the game where Lloyd's Beacon's actually useful inside of the dungeon. Um, I don't wanna keep all of the stuff in my inventory because that's going to be obnoxious. Run all the way back here. I could have just used a jump spell, but I didn't. Then run, 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 run. Actually, what time is it? Nine twelve. I need to wait some time anyway. I'm just going to do the water temple. This is actually a fairly short area. You can see most of the water temple already. Hi. Very close quarters in here. You know what we do when it comes to close quarters? Shrap metal! Oops. This one has the next one. You have a broken mace. Yep. I figured that out by noticing that he wasn't draining hit points anymore. You have a broken divine dagger. And you have a broken bow. There. Now I should be gaining more hit points again. And I think, yep. Let's say I think one more of these has stuff. Has enemies, I mean. And that's all for up here. Now we have to go down here. Back to wood paneled hell. I know it's not actually supposed to be wood paneled, but that's what it looks like. Hello, Guardian of Arn. Oh, you broke something. 
<sighs> my mace again. I think the reason why my mace is breaking is because this is an artifact. So the mace is the next Oops. easiest thing to break. Um, here we go. You're going to... Uh, shared life. Sure. Okay. Navigator's code. When the landing commences, navigator, take this code scroll to the central control chamber and speak the key Olus when prompted. All the senior officers must present their code scrolls and keys to open the way. Have you gotten the pattern yet? If not, that's okay. There's more. Ring of speed. Bolt of might. Money. Biblioteca. Chest key. Titanic trident. And heroic sword of ice. And another crystal skull. So... Um, yeah, this is probably a good time to town portal back, because that's 9.39, they're not open yet, dang it. Stupid slow people. Anyway, um, got weapons in your inventory. Weapons as in two. Almost everything in your inventory needs to be sold at the... Magic item shop. All right. Okay. Um, that. That's enchant bait. You can enchant it, I swear. Uh, this is cell bait. Both of the gods might not be cell bait. You know, that's right. I already figured out that it is. Not that you have inventory space for it. Because inventory space? Why would you want that? That's cell bait. These are both cell bait also, but I no longer have inventory space. Boy, I can fit this in. I just need to rearrange slightly. That's all I can sell. Move those back. Move that down there. Move those up there. This is cell bait. This is cell bait. This is cell bait. This is cell bait. Electric resistance plus 24 is not cell bait. still has resistance rings. Eh, okay, maybe it is cell bait. So nobody has resistance rings left now, do they? Oh, you have fire resistance 11 and cold resistance 24, so. Let's do that. Okay. Let's all sell. That's all I can sell. Weapon, sell. That's all I can sell. That all needs to be enchanted. Yes. Slowly getting my money back from training. You'll notice it's not coming back anywhere near as fast as it used to. It's because my money, one, I'm getting less of it, and two, it's getting harder to get money. Okay. I can make this fit. You're going to have to go elsewhere temporarily. Now I can fit another one of those in there. Walk back over to the armor shop. Sell them. Yeah, these aren't even good. Um, weapon, or armor shop. That's this and this. 
Okay, I'm done with the armor shop. Now it's weapon shop time. I'm going to have to rearrange inventory slightly. I'm going to have to sell this one at a time. Or two at a time, really. No, oh, no, these are one at a time. That's fine. I'm trying to kill time anyway. This is cell bait. This is cell bait. Now, everything in her inventory must be sold at a magic item shop. And it's just about time. There we go. All right, 195, 4682. Selling stuff. Yeah, that was a lot of money worth of stuff. Let's just reorganize slightly. Ah. And that's a Lloyd's Beacon scroll. That's actually not a terrible scroll to have on me, now that I think about it, because I can always recall Lloyd's Beacon that way. Okay. Right, that should be it. Let's go ahead and heal up, even though I'm not really affected. In fact, my um, first mage is completely healed at this point. Oh, um, let's recast our power. And then beacon, recall, this tomb farm. All right, let's go back again. Probably should have beaconed further in here, but that's okay. We're gonna go to this side next because this is where the biblioteca is. If I remember correctly. All right, this is where I start getting hit upside the face. I do this a lot. Maybe I should have made a lot more in the way of, um, whatchamacallit, uh, status removal potions. Oh. Just want to take that much effort. Although the other one is now out, that's fine. I did not hit that twice, damn it. Okay. Continue by walking over here. Oh, hey, look, I activate more genies. By the way, this entire room's full of genies. It wasn't painfully obvious. But I also have magic lamps. Magic lamps are very nice. So, normally, what I end up doing in this dungeon is this Just wake them all up. Really easy to get stun locked, but I think I'll be okay in this case. I'm healing fast enough where even when getting stun locked, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, just look at my hit points. They're not really going down that much, are they? Anyway, most of them end up running away, which is why this ends up working so well. So I don't get hit by too many of them at once, which is the whole point. And everybody's going to be afraid. Oh boy, that's a lot. Okay. I was not expecting him to cluster like that. So, let's go ahead and debreath these. You're the sacrificial lamb. Oh, they're actually slightly too far apart. Oh well. Still get three of them that way. That's probably still worth doing. Go ahead and 
fireball. And more fireball. And you two are nearly dead. I can just shoot you to kill you. Go back into melee because this is faster. So if I was taking my time, I would not be doing the let's just go into turn-based mode or go into real-time mode and kill everything like I am right now. So you're getting a slightly disproportionate amount of melee combat from me as a result. That's fine. I don't care about flowers. I really didn't even care about the roots anymore, but doing it anyway. And I'm jumpy again. Great part about being in real-time mode is I can just fix that immediately. Yes, another lamp, please. Magic lamps are really nice. They grant a wish. And genies are temperamental beasts and will have a tendency to kill you for them. Oops. But that's okay. We can make it work. We can make everything work. Oops. Uh. I didn't even see that. There we go. That tiny little lamp had leather armor in it, of course. Of course, that's the way that works. Duh. So any of the um, little alcoves that have two things in it have flowers. Any of them that have one thing in it have a magic lamp. And magic lamps work a lot like the decks of fate, namely hitting at certain times in the month and so on. Oh. Like, why am I being attacked? As I'm literally being attacked by things within my field of vision. I'll cure the mind stuff after I'm done with these. It's not worth it. Last one went down. Georgia. Like the devil. Make sure. Yep, that's everything. Um, let's see. So let me show you what the genie lamps do. So right now. Oh, no, that's right. Genie lamps do that in Might Magic 7. That's what it is. So let's start curing that fear. My kingdom for status effect removal, that's area of effect. The only one in the game is Awaken. And then let's go ahead and pump your hit points up a little bit. And then we have another set of alcoves. Hey, I bet you can't guess what's in these. Hint, it's genius. And this time, we've got these goobers to deal with also. So, I'm actually going to lure them. They have a range attack, but they will eventually walk over toward me. have enchant item up. That doesn't help us at all. Shrap and all, funk. Yeah. Can you believe that the first time I played this game, I didn't use water magic? Uh, Oops. Such a terrible mistake. I've since learned my lesson. So this one must be the one that genie lamps are just worth money. Which boring. Why did I even bother curing my fear? Oops. Just not worth it. Breath. 
let's go ahead and shoot life. You do have the life draining bow, right? Yeah, okay. I'm still not sure if that bow even does anything. I know there's weird things when it comes to life draining in this. You? Yeah. That's almost certainly going to be a better belt for you. I do lose four hit points, but I gain ten spell points, and that's more important to me right now. That's enchant bait. That's enchant bait. That's not even enchant bait. That's actually fairly nice. That's not. Those are enchant bait. Oops. That's enchant bait. Enchant bait. Not even enchant bait. Personality plus 21 doesn't do jack squat. Um, I'm not going to get anything until I hit 500. Oops. Okay. Fireball. Deep breath. Yeah. I'm taking care of. These are empty potion bottles, if I remember right. I love how my hit points are actually increasing over time instead of decreasing. Oh, all right, they're immune. That's a bit of a waste, actually. Um, Toxic Cloud? You mean to poison? I don't think you are. Nope, definitely not. Also, this wall is somehow blocking her from using a bow. I know that puts me in more danger, but eh. Danger's my middle name. No, that would be a terrible middle name. Oops. And get some more water. So, um, I believe that I'm going to actually finish my Magic 6 today. As in, not this video, but me personally finishing it today. Hi. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Because I probably have five hours or less left of the game. And it's not really worth me going too much further. Or spreading it out too much further. I might as well just finish it off. That way I can spend the rest of the week packing. Also, today's Game Hole Con, um, which is a local convention. There's a lot of internet famous people there that I would like to go see, but anxiety is telling me that I am worthless. And I don't have enough time for such frivolities and all that other garbage that I know is lying. But um, also the events that they're at are have been completely sold out. And not only have they been sold out, the replacement events have also been sold out. Because that's the way things work. Why are you focusing on the shit? I'm telling you to focus on the genie. I'd rather take out the genie first. Okay, this one over here is the last one, I believe. Last alcove with stuff, yeah. Yeah. So then I would have to go down there, which I don't want to go to yet because there's actually stuff over that one. Potion bottles, genie ramp. Potion bottles. Yeah, that's the last thing I need is more potion bottles. Lots of random stuff from these. Uh, Not even uh, always good stuff, it's just random. All right. And that's actually a decent set of chainmail, except that I don't need chainmail at all. I have artifact chainmail, I don't need regular chainmail. Oh, yeah, these are all in champ bait. So, you should go up here. Oh. 
These are actually decent gauntlets. Let's let's do a gauntlet check. Ah, uh, yeah. These are better for you. You get 15 more intellect because your intellect was somehow below 250. I don't know how that happened, but okay. And yeah, no, the rest of these are all that great. Yours is the one that needs to be replaced next. Um, I mean, those gauntlets are actually kind of worthless for you, oddly enough. In fact, I think technically these gauntlets are better. Must be 275 or something like that. Um, let's go ahead and grab the loot from here. Okay, then let's continue on. But I'm gonna continue on this way. Also, how did you not get afraid? Okay, that's not supposed to be a thing, but sure, we'll go with that. No fear. They have game. Deal with these scoopers. I kind of wish I had a way of like dim and showing my numeric hit points rather than just the hit points bar as I'm going, because it bounces a lot more than it looks. Let's go ahead and throw a power cure while I'm at it. And one last remove. Fia. Mark, 51 minutes. Okay, so I think I will finish Bibliotech. We're outdoors. We've actually been here before, because this is where you can jump in and skip a good chunk of what's going on. You can actually skip most of what's going on, actually. Bibliotech is down here. It's here to the left. This is a lot of enemies. I dragon breath breath myself. I'm dumb. Nope, I need to stop doing that. Damn it me. Even now. Ugh. Also that should have been fire blast, but whatever. Yes. Rap metal. Rap metal is already active. Going to get through this via shrap metal. Yeah. I'm just gonna drop my spell points like mad, but that's okay. You're barely even using spell points. You know what? Fire blast. Although then you don't get healed is the problem. Just see how many enemies there are in here. You actually look like you might have a broken weapon. You don't. But you look like it. Um, you're actually getting dangerously low on hit points. You have five hit points. Yeah, I can't hit you from here, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and sacrifice a lot of hit points by shared life. After the bibliotech, I'm going to heal anyway, so. Slowly heal up by stealing all of their life force. You got one hit point. Are you serious? One behind me. 
There we go. Clean up in here. Donde esta el biblioteca? Or la biblioteca? I have books. Meteor shower. Which everybody has meteor shower, but it's still salty. Inferno! Incinerate. Actually, I don't think everybody has incinerate. Nope. Everybody does. Drat. Those are some nice boots. Don't really need them, but those are some nice boots. Town portal. I know everybody has that. Ice blast. Finally gave everybody that recently, right? Yeah. Other side of la biblioteca. Implosion. I think that one you were missing. Yep. Finally, I found a book that I can use. Why? I know. Yeah. Starburst, which starts up the juice. Did I finally? Yeah, I did finally give you Starburst. Only I had remembered what's here. Mass Distortion. I believe both of you have Mass Distortion. Yep. And finally, Blades Beacon, which I know both of you have. Anyway, that's a chest that I'm going to open up at a range. Just saying. It might be trapped. Oh, right. It's locked first, so I have to unlock it. Divine Dagger of Infernos, which is a nice dagger. All right. Holy Hammer of Thunderbolts. The Farn Chest Key. And the Doctor's Code. Hmm. When landing commences, Doctor, take this code scroll to the central control chamber and speak the activator key, Yuckum, when prompted. All senior officers must present their code scrolls to MTs to open this way. Have you figured it out yet? If not, that's okay. I'm pretty sure most of you would have figured it out. Oh, most of you that haven't beaten the game before would have figured it out by now. Anyway, that's the bibliotheque, and I'm going to end it about here-ish. Um, time is 3.15. I'm going to go ahead and drop a beacon like it's a hot new album. Portal out of here. To New Serpical. Let's see. Um, who was it that wanted magic lamps? Was that in... That might have been in Dragon Sand? Anyway. Um, Long Blade of Infernos. Nope. It's not worth it. Uh, so that's going away. That's going away. That's going away. That's going away. That stuff needs to be enchanted. As much as I'm going to get out of that, that's fine. Yes. I don't have that many enchantments to do. already enchanted wasn't it yep that's right I wanted to do a crown check oh that one might actually be worth replacing so I mean the defender helm is really nice but that's also plus 21 spell points and I need all the spell points I can get mm -hmm. the rest of this is garbage garbage Yeah, we can squeeze this in. Somewhere. But weapons first, it looks like. I've got three inventory spots. Oh no, I've got all of that open, don't I? Yeah, I do. Um... Did that, did that. Okay, 
that'll do for now. I'm going to handle this. Not that I have very many weapons, but you know, thought counts. That's still work. Okay, sell all sorts of stuff again. Sad that I'm selling that ring. That's actually a good ring. Okay. You get loped over, and that's everything. Yes, I know I'm in double time. Okay, did that. Let's go ahead and heal up. Once more, casting Hour of Power ahead of time. This time I remembered before walking in, so that's good. All right. Um, yep, yeah, I'm going to stop it here. It's right about an hour. It's slightly over, but that's fine. I um, hope you're enjoying this. And Varn Part 3 is next, where, according to my current plan, I'll be finishing up Varn. Yeah, that's right. This... This dungeon is so large, it's three parts of a video. The only other multi-part video I did was Temple of Ba, right? Although, admittedly, Darkmar probably should have been two parts. Anyway, goodbye, Internet. I will see you probably, in my case, I will see you in a few minutes.